Hi everyone, my name is Jiha Joshua Chang, now a graduating senior at Annenberg studying journalism. And for this quarantine, I have been cooking the soul food of all Koreans, doenjang jjigae, or Korean bean paste stew. To make doenjang stew, you need doenjang, which is Korean fermented soybean paste. And you really do need this to make this dish. And if you're in LA, they're all in the Koreatown groceries anywhere. And you can really put any vegetables in this. Today I'm using a yellow onion, a bundle of spring onions, and both the green and the white parts for flavor. And for spice, I am putting in two serrano peppers, the really spicy ones, but you can leave them out if you can't handle the heat um, or use uh, jalapenos instead. I also have a sad zucchini in the fridge, so I'm gonna put that in there. And finally, for some extra flavor, the shiitake mushrooms, which also give this dish a meaty texture. Uh, so I am just going to chop all of these vegetables into a half inch cubes about a centimeter cube uh, so they all cook evenly in the pot uh, like this onion uh, but I you know obviously when you chop do leave some of them actually on the board do what I say not as I do um, and for the serrano chilies I am actually leaving in the seeds uh, but again if you know you can't handle the heat you can absolutely scrape them out as well um, I forgot to mention I am also putting in half a cube of firm tofu uh, which will be put in at the end of the cooking uh, tofu if you put it in too early in the stew it'll just break apart into kind of these chalky little pieces that are not nice at all and now to make the stock I am using a quarter pound of beef ideally with a bit of fat for extra flavor uh, chuck brisket or short rib will all be good choices but of course you know this is extra and you can absolutely just use vegetable stock or even plain water uh, traditionally koreans use dried anchovies for making these stocks but i know they are hard to come by if you're not living in korea so on a dry pot i am going to brown my beef chunks slowly stirring constantly so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot now this is called the maillard reaction for your foodies out there and it gives the final product a more meaty flavor than just boiling the meat in plain water uh, i'm also putting in two cups of hot water and turning up the heat but uh, I might add more throughout the cooking process to see where it goes. You're going to see gunk and foam actually piling up as it boils, as you can see here. And you should definitely remove these with a spoon and then throw it away since uh, leaving them in the stew leaves kind of give this funky and gamey flavor, which you don't want. Uh, so now you see beef oil floating on top of and no foam at all. Uh, we're going to put a lid on this and put it to simmer for at least 30 minutes, which gives us the perfect beef stock. And now we are actually putting in all of the vegetables, the onions, the zucchini, the mushroom, the chili, uh, but again, no tofu. Um, and we're gonna give it a stir. And now the main ingredient, two tablespoons of doenjang bean paste, uh, but you can adjust the taste if this is too strong or too salty or add more if this is not enough for you. And for more flavor and texture, half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And finally, half a tablespoon of kochukaru, which is coarsely ground Korean chili powder or you know actually you know make it a tablespoon since you really have nothing else to lose and you really really love that spice I do um, so just make sure you put that in there and um, finally 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 we are going to add in the tofu and we're gonna put them in as the vegetables about 70% cooked in the stew um, and really that's it um, put a lid on it um, cook it slowly for two to three minutes or however you're ready and serve it with rice